हेलो एवरी वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एटीन आई एम ओ पेपर सेट ए फॉर क्लास सिक्स टूडे विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन फाइंड द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स एट विच थ्री लाइन्स इंटरसेट मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट इज वन एट विच थ्री लाइन्स इंटरसेक्ट सो द आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन ए नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू यूजिंग अ रूलर एंड कंपेसिस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंस्ट्रक्शन कैन बी मेड The answer will be option C. Both A and B. A circle can be made when the length of its radius is known. The perpendicular bisector of a line segment of the given length is also made. So the answer will be option C. That is both A and B. Question number twenty-three. On a number line. Numbers are marked at a distance of one centimeter apart from each other. One end of a line segment is at minus eight, and the other end is at nine. How long is the line segment in centimeter? One end of a line segment is at minus eight. That means minus eight to zero is eight. Then zero to nine is nine. So it will be eight plus nine, that is seventeen centimeter, which is option D. Question twenty four. One thousand one hundred sixty two is divided into three parts such that four times the first part, five times the second part, and seven times the third part are equal. Find the parts. If you can solve the question. Please pause the video, solve the question, and write down your answer in the comment section. Here it is given four times the first part equals to five times the second part equals to seven times the third part. Suppose it will be x. So first part will be x by four, second part will be x by five, and third part will be x by seven. And one thousand one hundred sixty-two is divided into three such parts. So x by four plus x by five plus x by seven equals to one thousand one hundred sixty-two. We have to find out the LCM of four, five, and seven. LCM of four, five, and seven is one forty. So if we add this, we will get eighty-three x by one forty equals to one thousand one hundred sixty-two. So x will be one thousand nine hundred sixty. Now first part is x by four, so one thousand nine hundred sixty by four is equal to four ninety. Similarly, second part will be three hundred ninety two, and third part will be two hundred eighty. So the answer will be option A. Now question number twenty five. Find the fraction if its decimal value is zero point six and denominator is seventy five. Decimal value is zero point six and denominator is seventy five. So let the number is x. So x by seventy five equals to zero point six. So x will be zero point six multiplied by seventy five, which is equals to forty five. We have to find the fraction, so the fraction will be forty-five by seventy-five, which is option B. Question number twenty-six. In the given figure, ABC triangle, EFG triangle, KIG triangle, and NMO triangle are four different equilateral triangles. Find the perimeter of the figure if side of square PDHL is eight centimeter. AC equals to four centimeter, EZ equals to two centimeter, KI equals to three centimeter, and MO equals to 
टू सेंटीमीटर ए बी सी ई एफ जी के आई जे एंड एन एम ओ ऑल आर इक्वलेटरल ट्राइंगल इक्वलेटरल ट्राइंगल मीन्स ऑल साइड शुड बी इक्वल सो ए बी इक्व टू बी सी इक्व टू ए सी इक्व टू फोर सेंटीमीटर नाउ ई जी इक्व टू ई एफ इक्व टू एफ जी इक्व टू टू सेंटीमीटर सिमिलरली के आई इक्व टू आई जे इक्व टू जे के इक्व टू थ्री सेंटीमीटर एंड इन ट्राइंगल एन एम ओ एम ओ इक्व टू एन एम इक्व टू एन ओ इक्व टू टू सेंटीमीटर and side of the square is given which is 8 cm pd equals to 8 cm and ac is 4 cm so pa equals to cd will be 2 cm similarly de equals to gh is 3 cm lk equals to ih equals to 2.5 cm po equals to ml equals to 3 cm So perimeter of the figure will be twelve plus ten plus eleven plus ten, which is equals to forty three centimeter. So the answer will be option C. Question number twenty seven. If a equals to eight and x equals to four, then the value of three a x plus six x minus nine divided by three a minus four x minus two is dash. Put the value of a and x. We'll get 111 divided by 6, which is equal to 18 1 by 2. So the answer will be option A. Question number 28. Which of the following squares should be shaded to make the given figure symmetric? Look at the figure here. to make the figure symmetric we have to set r and s so the answer will be option d question number 29 find the area of the given figure let's name the figure as a b c d e f g h i j In rectangle ABCD, AB equals to CD equals to six centimeter, and AD equals to BC equals to three centimeter. So area of the rectangle will be six multiplied by three, length into breadth, which is eighteen square centimeter. Similarly, in rectangle EFGH, EF equals to GH equals to three centimeter. Because IJ is two centimeter and KG is one centimeter, so HG equals to EF equals to three centimeter. Now EH equals to FG equals to three minus one point five centimeter, which is one point five centimeter. So area of rectangle EFGH will be three multiplied by one point five, which is four point five square centimeter. Now in rectangle HIJK. H G equals to I J equals to two centimeter, which is given here. I H equals to I K equals to one point five centimeter. It is also given here. So area of rectangle H I J K will be two multiplied by one point five centimeter, which is three point zero square centimeter. Now area of the figure will be area of A B C D rectangle plus area of E F G H rectangle plus area of H I J K rectangle, which is eighteen plus four point five plus three, will get twenty five point five square centimeter. So the answer will be option A. Now question number thirty. Read the statements carefully. and select the correct option statement i a circle is the path of a point moving at the same distance from a fixed point statement 2i a sector of a circle is a region in the interior of the circle enclosed by an arc and a chord read the statements carefully the answer will be option b statement i is true but statement 2i is false 
नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन आर एस द फॉलोइंग इन आसेंडिंग ऑर्डर सिक्स बाई फिफ्टीन टू बाई नाइन फोर बाई सेवन थ्री बाई एटीन To arrange the fractions in ascending order, we have to take the LCM of the denominators that is fifteen, nine, seven, and eighteen. So the LCM will be six thirty. We have to make the denominator same. So six by fifteen equals to six multiplied by forty two divided by fifteen multiplied by forty two. We'll get two fifty two by six thirty. Similarly. Two by nine equals to one forty by six thirty. Four by seven equals to three sixty by six thirty. And three by eighteen equals to one zero five by six thirty. Now we got all the denominators same. Now if we arrange these in ascending order, it will be three by eighteen, then two by nine, then six by fifteen, then four by seven. So the answer will be option C. Question number thirty-two. The net of a solid is given. Identify the shape and find the number of faces of the solid formed when the net is folded. Look at the figure. When the net is folded, the shape is triangular pyramid, and number of face is four. So the answer will be option A. Question number thirty-three. Which of the following numbers is completely divisible by nine? If the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by nine, then the number is divisible by nine. From all these options, sum of the numbers in option C is thirty-six, and thirty-six is divisible by nine. So the number is divisible by nine. Now question number thirty-four. Find the values of circles P, Q, and R respectively, such that the sum of the numbers in two quadrilaterals equals to the value of the circle in between them. In the first figure, three point five six nine plus zero point six nine nine minus three point seven six nine. It will be zero point four nine nine. Similarly, in the second figure, zero point nine nine minus zero point four eight plus one point six six seven. It will be two point one seven seven. So P will be zero point four nine nine plus two point one seven seven. We'll get two point six seven six. Similarly, Q will be zero point four nine nine plus seven point five six five. We'll get eight point zero six four, and R will be two point one seven seven plus seven point five six five. We'll get nine point seven four two. So P Q R will be two point six seven six, eight point zero six four, and nine point seven four two, which is option A. Now question number thirty five. Which of the following ratios are in proportion? Look at the options carefully. The answer will be option C. Twenty-four centimeter by fifteen meter, which is fifteen hundred centimeter, is equal to four by two fifty, which is equal to two by one twenty-five. Similarly, eighty by five kilogram equals to five thousand gram. So eighty gram by five thousand gram, it will be two by one twenty five. So both are equal. So the answer will be option C. Link of part one video is given in the description box. Thanks for watching.